tonight's storyline, first versus last, David versus Goliath. Use all the cliches you can. Here they are today. First place, Peterborough Pete's hosting the last place, Barry Colts. Welcome to the OHL tonight. I'm your host, Dan Malta. Pete Dalde and Brian Drum will join us right about the start of the first period. We're going to head into a billet ceremony this evening, so Gord Gibb on the PA will take us away with that in just about a minute. You take a look at those standings. There are the Peets with a six-point lead on top of the conference. The Colts at the bottom, really no hope in sight for them, but they are kind of confident coming off of a win against the North Bay Battalion in overtime. So they're young, they're moving. It's a learning opportunity for them, for the Peets. They've got to overbear, they've got to overcome, and make sure they can nail down another two points tonight to make sure they're successful, keep building their lead on the Oshawa Generals. Now, we'll pick up with Gord Gibb. It's the billet ceremony. Everybody who takes care of the Pete's players. Let's head to that right now. The 2017 Billet Families. Would you please welcome the billets of Cole Fraser, the McCarthy family. The billets of Brandon Profits, the Trolley family. Billets of Matt Timms and Zach Galantz, the Tanner family. Billets of Alex Black, the Page family. Billets of Kyle Jenkins and Adam Timlick, the Adamo family. Billets of Tyler Rolo, the Ferris family. Billets of Chris Paquettes, the Millard family. Billets of Nick Isaacson, the Beckett family. Billets of Steve Lorenz, the Harris Lowe family. Billets of Pavel Bogolov and Jonathan Ang, the Wisco family. Billets of Semender Argachensev is the Cheng family. Billets of Declan Chisholm, the Crete family. Billets of Matthias Baboda, the Bonner family. Billets of Josh Coyle and Scott Smith, the F. Gray family. Billets of Logan DeNoble, the DeNoble family. Billets of Dylan Wells, the Sisson family. And billets of Eddie Schultz, Jenny Cornier, and Rick Phillips. And unable to make it this evening, billets of Matt Spencer, the Robbins family. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2016-2017 Peterborough Pete's Billet Families right there. We must tell you that in many cases, this is the first time our players have been away from friends and family. Billet Families are a very important aspect of the off-ice plan that contributes to the success of a winning team. It takes special people to open their homes, and their hearts to our players. And we take the utmost care to ensure our players are placed in environments that are conducive to care, understanding, and safety. A Billet family provides our players with shelter, nutritional family meals, emotional support, and most importantly, a sense of family. Now being a Billet family is rewarding for both our players and the families themselves. If you are interested in learning how to become a Billet family and learning more about our Billet program, please contact the Pete's office, 416-360-0740. 416-360-0740. 
for complete information on upcoming seasons. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's hear it for 2016-2017 Dillon Family. And hello everyone, it's uh, Pete and Brian up in the box here tonight as we look down on the Billet family starting to uh, head back to the seats. And Brian, you know what it's like to uh, to go into a home and it's, a, you know, for a 16 year old, a young kid, it is so important to have a solid uh, Billet family on the other end. You've been on both ends, you've been a Billet, uh, you've been Billeted over your hockey career, especially back in junior. And you know how important it is to, I mean, they're crucial. Well, especially you look at you got guys here that were born uh, in different hemispheres even Peter I mean we didn't have that much when we were growing up like that in, in this league but you're right it's um, it, it's huge on how a young guy adapts to this league they're, they're away from home and I remember we used to make fun of the Newfie kids that uh, would come from the east and uh, you know we couldn't understand how they could get homesick and I remember getting traded from Oshawa to Peterborough and I couldn't wait couldn't wait to get home on a Sunday night so kind of neat that uh... all right it is neat do we have a uh, saves for CF night tonight as well let's roll the video a life with normal breathing and no medication never having to spend 40 days in the ICU again I would breathe easier We finally fixed the problem that is keeping my patients in the hospital. Que je vais m'arrêter de m'inquiéter pour le futur de mon fils, parce qu'il aura une longue vie en bonne santé. Thousands of children don't have to wonder if they'll survive to have children of their own. Me permet de voyager autour du monde. No more needles. No more pills and no more yucky throat swabs. An improved quality of life without any treatments needed. And I could plan for my future without worrying if it will be attainable. I could spend more time on the court and less time on the bench. And needing to walk so long and missing half my lunch just for pills. Tout le monde où ma fille est encore vivante, où on entend encore ses rires. <laughs> my wife would not have to worry about raising our two daughters. Finalement, la victoire et un grand bol d'air frais pour toute la communauté qui nous assistait, les patients, les cliniciens et les chercheurs. that for this. Less restrictions like being able to sleep in. <laughs> Hope that children can go on to live long, healthy, and happy lives. No more IV. A future for my son. A world without cystic fibrosis would mean I wouldn't have to take medicine. Saves for CS Media Sponsors. Tonight's game sponsor, The Wolf 101.5 FM, Fresh Radio 100.5 FM, and Checks TV are Brian Ellis and Taylor Renkema. 
Representing GM Financial, who donates $1 for every save made by Pete's goalie, Senior Vice President Michael Allman. And representing Cystic Fibrosis Canada Peterborough Chapter, Vice President Candice McGuigan, and her daughter, eight-year-old Cystic Fibrosis Warrior, Ashlyn McGuigan. Welcome. Let us tell you about Ashlyn. At three and a half weeks old, Ashlyn was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis through the newborn screening test. Ashlyn takes at least 35 pills every day to digest her food, daily vitamins, puffer treatments, and lung clearance exercises. She visits the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto every three months to meet with her team to keep the upper hand on cystic fibrosis. Ashlyn and all CF Warriors say thank you for joining the fight to have CF stand for Cure Found. We now ask that tonight's starting goaltenders, Dylan Wells for your Pete's and David Ofstjanikoff for the Barry Colts, please join our guests at Center Ice for this evening's ceremonial puck drop. Thank you. Let's hear once more for our distinguished guests. And Ashlyn McGuigan, a CF warrior. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you please stand and gents, remove your caps if you would, and please join the Peterborough Children's Chorus Junior Choir as they perform our national anthem, O Canada. Thank you, boys and nice girls. Nice job by the Peterborough Junior Chorus Choir. And that will put a wrap on the pregame. The Peets and the Barry Colts are next right here on Kojiko TV.